Hello, my name is Nicole Carson Boney and I'm a portrait photographer. A few months ago, I got a call from my friend Gina. She had this incredible concept for a retreat for young women of color called BEST. When she asked if I was interested in taking portraits of the young women as part of a confidence building experience, of course my response was yes. In this video, Gina will share more about her BEST retreat and how it is inspiring young women of color. And I'll take you through my lighting setup for beautiful natural portraits on location. I also include my surprise presentation to the girls of their final portraits, as well as their heartfelt reactions. Then I'll conclude with my basic editing workflow to achieve this clean, classic look in portraits. But before we go any further, please do me a quick favor and click the like and subscribe buttons below. There's also a new button called Super Thanks, and it's just below this video. It's the heart with the dollar sign inside of it. This allows you to make a small donation that will help me continue gifting this experience to deserving women. And your comment will jump to the top of the comment feed and I can give you a shout out. BEST stands for Bronze Empowered Saints Does Talk. And the BEST retreat is an opportunity to gather black and biracial young ladies ages 14 to 24 who are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints giving us an opportunity to connect and meet others who look like us and believe like us. At the BEST retreat, not only do we get together to have some fun, laughed, played, ate, of course, talked, braided hair, but we also took a look at some of our challenges that we face as ethnic minorities and looked at some of these issues and challenges through the lens of the gospel of Jesus Christ. One of the things that we were aiming to do at the BEST retreat was to honor our unique appearance and beauty. That's when I decided to reach out to Nicole. Uh, I've worked with her before. I love her style. I love her product. And I asked her if she would come in and help me to achieve uh, a product that would really highlight and honor our natural beauty. The home that was rented for the retreat had this large bay window in the master bedroom. We determined it would be the best spot for the portraits utilizing the gray day bed that was already there. The morning light was coming in through the left window, so I decided to work with it as the direction of the key light. I started by taping up a sheer curtain over the center window to soften the backlight. I also wanted to eliminate any visually distracting elements from outside. I also needed to add a sheer curtain over the left window to soften the direct sunlight coming into the room. I had only brought one sheer curtain with me, so I opened up my 5 by 7 foot reflector. I removed the cover, exposing the sheer center panel. Then I simply placed it in front of the window and behind the curtains. Now the window is creating a giant softbox. For my key light, I set up my first Canon EX speed light pointed to the back side of my Westcott Apollo softbox. I also added two layers of white fabric to the front of the softbox for extra diffusion. Then I set up my portable V-flat with the white side facing the model and on the opposite side of my key light. Not only did it reflect the natural light coming in from the windows, but also the light coming from the flash. And I included a link in the description below to my DIY video how I make my portable V-flats. I set up a second speed light behind me with a MagMod MagBounce pointed away from the model. Set to a low medium power, this flash provided a subtle fill light as it bounced off the ceiling and the back wall. To help the girls look natural and relaxed in their portraits, I decided to have them sit on the edge of the daybed. This allowed them to rest their arms and hands on the armrest, which brought their hands up near their face. I made sure to open up their hair on the shoulder closest to the window to avoid any shadows on their cheeks. Then I brought more hair forward on their opposite shoulder. Although my time with each girl was short, it was awesome to feel their unique energy and personality. I tried to transmit my calm energy to help put them at ease so I could capture their genuine expressions. I love to watch Nicole work because she knows exactly what she's doing, what she's looking for, how to get that. I enjoyed watching um, them taking the instructions and they're able to relax. And I think that's when that, that inner beauty really shines through. I love watching a Nicole <laughs> photo shoot because that's the gift and talent. On the last day of the retreat, I was so excited to show the girls their beautiful truth in their printed, matted, and framed portraits. I also had the opportunity to lead them through a special confidence building experience. 
So what I'm about to share with you is your beautiful truth. And here I go already. <laughs> so the world has and will continue to manufacture a superficial beauty. And the more unattainable they make it, the more profitable it is. True beauty is unchanging. True beauty is divine light. And that is the light that radiates inside every one of you and comes out through your eyes and through your expressions. And a photograph is literally a capture of your light. So truth simply is. Your beautiful truth is what you're about to see in this video. looked around the room and saw just this like wow and the anticipation waiting for them to see their picture um, I just felt satisfied I felt satisfied I was thrilled the feeling uh, in the room was was awe and excitement and love and and just beauty All right, raise your hand if you thought you looked fabulous. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How many of you thought everyone else looked fabulous? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so why then is it so difficult to believe in our beautiful truth? Mm. Why is that so hard? To help you see and understand the beautiful truths about you, we're gonna to turn to your sisters in this room. I have a portrait of you, which we're going to just display around the room. And so I'm gonna give you each a little pad of sticky notes and a Sharpie. And you're gonna walk around to each picture. And as you look at each of your sisters in their picture, I want you to write down a beautiful truth about them. You've had this chance now to spend three or four days with each other. And the beauty of this you don't know who they were before they came here. No one knows where you've been. No one knows who you were a month ago, a week ago. All they know is the woman, the girl that they met today, that they met a couple days ago and they spent time with. This is who they know. This is the beautiful truth that they see. And what they're going to show you is the girl that you can be today and tomorrow. But my challenge to you is can you believe in your beautiful truth? Can you allow yourself to see a portrait of yourself and to allow yourself to feel beautiful? I believe that seeing these different words written about them in the handwriting, the words chosen by their peers, all being different, was a powerful way to convince them that what we were seeing in them and what we were saying about them was true. The comment I'm most surprised is, it's kind of long, but it says, getting to meet you is a blessing. Thank you for helping me realize how important I am and I know my worth now because of you. I think this one that says, your faith motivates me to do better. It says, your magic being around you feels joyful and safe. I like this one. It says, yourself no matter who's around. Your confidence makes me want to be more confident. Your heart is actually golden. Your light is abundant and filling. And I read it and I was like, whoa. I never received such a compliment. It was, it's lovely. Exuding strength because, I don't know, I, sometimes I feel like I don't like always show my strength. You are an amazing person inside and out. Don't let someone tell you other ways, other what. Full of life and laughter. <laughs> I sometimes I feel like I'm full of a lot of pain these days. <laughs> The single most important thing to take away is that I'm not alone, that I need to trust in the Lord's timing. I import all my photos to Exposure X7 for culling and organizing. I use the color tags to identify my favorites. Once selected, I export a copy of the raw file to Photoshop as a PSD file. 
Then I go in and make all the detailed edits. I start with the skin and carefully clean up any temporary blemishes. I also remove any unwanted highlights created by my speed lights. The eyes get a touch of brightening and I subtly adjust any shapes on the hair to improve the overall composition. I wanted to create the best version of each girl in a natural and authentic way that wouldn't look fake or glossy. Once the editing was completed, I went back into exposure and applied my color gradings and crop. When I first saw my picture, I thought that I looked way better than any other picture I've taken. And I thought of the beauty that is behind that picture because it's natural. And I'm not all done up, I'm just everyday look kind of thing. Wow, I never thought that I could look that beautiful in a photo. I don't feel like I'm photogenic. I like the fact that I feel like I look natural and just me. Seeing how truly beautiful I am without any makeup on was nice to like see the real me. I just see how beautiful that I am and how beautiful I can become if I keep on stepping out of my comfort zone and letting myself be genuine. I have struggled with like feeling worthy and beautiful seeing these and seeing that like they think I'm beautiful it like opened my eyes to be like kind of realize that yeah I am kind of pretty so I like that. I was really shocked it came up and everyone was cheering I'm like who are they cheering for? I'm like, uh, is that me? I didn't recognize myself it was really cool. I loved it it's it's amazing. I feel like it actually captures what I actually look like not with like filters or and it just shows who I really am. I saw my picture and I felt warm. I don't know, for like for the first time, like my initial thought wasn't a, like a critical one, which I thought was interesting. I was like, whoa. Like I thought, I, I like the light in the picture. I think it's a beautiful picture. I was like really happy to be able to have like a photo of me looking like strong and confident and that just like showed up on Apple me. The first thing I felt was wow. I feel like sometimes when you're pregnant, you don't always feel beautiful. And so it was just nice to see, just to see more than just a mom. My hope for all young women is to see themselves as powerful and talented and beautiful, no matter what is their physical condition or shape. When they go into the future, they'll have that image in their mind, this is who I am, this is how I sit, this is, that glow that they have in those portraits, I want them to remember that and, and work from that point forward in everything that they do. As you can tell, Gina is an incredibly inspiring woman with a gift for communication and connection. She speaks from her heart and her soul and is wise beyond her years. I am so grateful she invited me to help inspire young women to believe in their beautiful truth. If you like this video, please don't leave without clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. I also invite you to consider giving a super thanks by clicking the thanks button below this video. It's the heart with the dollar sign inside of it. And your small donation will help me continue gifting this experience to deserving women. And your comment will jump to the top of the comment feed and I can give you a special shout out. Thank you in advance.